Hello everyone, in this video we are going to look at how we can apply Simpson's rule for numerical integration. Now in our past videos we looked at trapezoidal or trapezium, trapezium rule and we said if we are integrating uh, f of x okay, with respect to x from a to b, this is approximately equal to uh, h out of 2, f of x naught plus f of x n plus twice sum of f of x i from i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. And uh, we said this is the first, okay? This is the last point for f of x. And uh, of course, at x at x is equal to xn, then these are the intermediate points. So in other words, we are saying if you have the number of ordinates being, for example, 7, uh, you will have x0 up to x7. And therefore, the xn, okay, what we are talking about as f of xn is the same as f of x7. And f of x naught, okay, is the same as, okay, if we put in the value of x naught in that particular function, okay, f of x at x naught. Then the intermediate ones will be now running from x1 up to x6. And that's how we are able to use trapezium rule to be able to get an approximate integral of a function or to be able to get an approximate uh, value of area under a curve if f of x was a function and we are trying to find the area uh, it encompasses or it encloses between it and x axis. So in here let's now look at Simpson's rule um, having made a review on trapezium rule. So Simpson's rule is a method for numerical integration as trapezium rule, specifically for approximating the definite integral of a function. It provides a more accurate approximation than the trapezoidal rule by fitting parabolas into uh, the intervals of the function being integrated. Now we said that uh, for a function f of x over an interval a to b, a and B inclusive, the Simpson's rule uh, is governed, uh, is given by, so if we are able to use the Simpson's rule, then it will be B minus A out of 6, F of A plus 4F, A plus B out of 2 plus F of B. This is when we are talking about Simpson's rule over an interval an interval a b okay so if you are told to find the integral of a function using simpson's rule and you are not given maybe the number of sub intervals you are not told about anything like ordinates then you can easily do this but of course this is not a, uh, so uh, accurate compared to when you divide it into a number of sub intervals so that's why this formula is rarely used so let's look at the, the composite simpson's rule where we divide the interval into any sub interval so we have integral of uh, f of x from a to b with respect to x it shall equal to a third h into f of x naught plus four times f of x whereby uh, f of we are talking about f of x i, and this is uh, talking about the ith value of x, and the, which is odd, the ith odd value of of x. In other words, we are talking about uh, if we are looking for the value of f of x at, for example, x three, x seven, x five, values of the sort. Then plus twice sum of f of x i for i 
xi's value that is given uh, plus f of xn. Here the values that we are talking about for f of x are for x, are for example, at x2, x4, x6, and so on and so forth. That's what we are trying to mean. In other words, here the value of f of x would be like y3, y7, y5, then here it will be like y2, it will be having values like y4, values like y6. Those are the ones that correspond to this part that is even. So y2, y4, y6 uh, is talking about these subscripts that are even. Then here the subscripts are odd, whereby h is equal to b minus a divided by n. And this is telling you that H is the width of each sub-interval. So that means if I had, for example, my values of X, X0, X1, maybe X2, X3, X4, up to X5, for example. Uh, so this is corresponding to how many ordinates? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 6, okay? Six ordinates. Uh -huh. Now, how many intervals, sub intervals, it will be one, two, three, four, five. So this corresponds to five sub intervals. Or it will have five sub intervals. So if you have any ordinates, you always have n minus one sub intervals. That's what I'm trying to mean. Okay? So now the steps to apply the above composite Simpson's rule are uh, you divide the interval a b into even number of sub intervals um, then you evaluate the function f of x at points x not x1 up to xn use the formula to approximate the interval at uh, the integral and then uh, Simpson's rule you will find that it is particularly uh, used for functions that are smooth and well behaved because the parabolic approximation can follow the function's curve. That is, uh, this a third, a third rule is usually for the parabolic, parabolic functions or those functions that have x squared in it. So another component of uh, Simpson's rule that we need to uh, talk about is Simpson's uh, three out of eight rule. So the three out of eight rule is another method for numerical integration and is similar to Simpson's a third rule, but with some key differences. Uh, while rule, the both rules approximate the integral of a function by using a polynomial interpolation, then uh, Simpson's three out of eight rule, we find that uses cubic polynomials rather than quadratic ones to approximate the function and therefore go ahead goes ahead and applies the integral so in other words when we are generating or when we are proving the one out of three rule we find that we use quadratic quadratic approximation so we approximate the function to be quadratic but when we are using the three the three out of eight rule, we find that this one uses the cubic, cubic approximation of the function. In other words, we have a function like x cubed. Here we have a function like uh, having terms of x squared. The formula for three out of uh, uh, eight rule, if we are talking about Simpson's rule, being applied over just a single interval. So if we are applying it over a single interval, we are going to be using uh, three out of eight times h into f of a plus three into uh, three f of a plus h plus three uh, f of a plus two h then plus f of b. And that will be the approximate integral of this function whereby h is going to be b minus a out of 3, and this is going to be the width of each sub-interval. This is only applied for applicable over, over 
a single interval. But when we divide it into several, several sub-intervals, then it changes. So extending this Simpson's rule to a number of sub-intervals, then the approximate integral of this function will be 3 out of 8 times h into f of x naught plus 3 uh, times the odd i uh, value of the function plus 3 times i even values of the function and 2 times others. These others we are going to see what they mean plus f of xn whereby h is equal to b minus a uh, divided by n and uh, we are talking about uh, x values or points starting from x naught up to xn okay so another person could write it in a different way uh, which we are going to see later now the differences between simpson's rule and the three uh, the, the differences between the two rules one out of three rule and three out of eight rule is in the order of approximation we have Simpson's rule uh, using uh, uh, quadratic polynomials or second degree to approximate the curve or to approximate the function. And Simpson three out of eight rule uses cubic, cubic polynomials or degree three curves or functions. Then the interval uh, division for Simpson's uh, third rule requires an even number of intervals. Whereas the three out of eight rule will handle more complex cases where the number of intervals is a multiple of three. So if we are talking about uh, sub intervals like nine, six, you're talking about 12, you're talking about 15, here you are going to uh, be recommended to use three out of eight rule. The actual say is that uh, we will find that one out of three rule is often more commonly used, but the three out of eight rule can be more accurate for certain types of functions, especially if the function has a higher variations over the intervals. So there is a, a very fast change uh, in the value of the function, and then it changes, then goes to another value, then it is recommended that you use the three out of eight. So when you use them, uh, we are saying one out of three rules, uh, we use it when we are having smoother functions, then Simpson's three out of eight rule is used for when handling more irregular or rapidly changing functions or when dividing an interval into three sub-intervals, uh, finding it fitting better. Okay, if you divide it into three sub-intervals and it fits better, then you can use the three out of eight rule for Simpson.